Hey everybody, welcome back to another Tech Digest video. I know I promised some uh, A86 updates, but uh, this time we're actually going to do something really important for the start. Um, basically, ran into a few issues. I'm going to show you some pictures here, what I'm talking about. Um, on my way back from the 86 day, their pulley fell off. Well, the, the pulley bolt <clears throat> ended up getting lost somewhere on the highway. Who knows, maybe even on track. And I drove about three and a half hours back home. Didn't realize it until I went over um, the car, you know, rotated tires again, uh, changed the oil and all that good stuff, and noticed the bolt was missing because I was developing a squeak from the pulleys. So, um, yeah, we replaced the bolts, um, but I could not replace the pulley, which has a little bit of damage. Um, kind of made me feel a little uneasy about having uh, the car drive like that. So here comes in Ross Performance. Now this is a 4 EFTE uh, harmonic damper. It's a metal jacket. And we're gonna unbox this baby and see what it looks like. This came all the way from down under. Got some cool little uh, card there. We got a really cool sticker. Uh, this is all the, you know, instructions and whatnot for the, the damper. <clears throat> and we got all these layers of cardboard. And there you are. It's a really beautiful piece. It just it's just so nice looking, you know, you just don't want to install it. Like that's that's just where we're at, right? <laughs> that's the problem with well-made performance parts. So um yeah, I could not find a OEM 4 EFTE um pulley slash damper uh in stock like brand new. I didn't want to risk uh, a used one from another country or even going with a like Toyota Paseo or Tercel equivalent because they're not dampened. Those are on NA cars. Um, so some of the features of this pulley, um, so basically it's rated for 500 horsepower. I don't think I'm ever going to get up there. <coughs> um, so, you know, uses CNC technology and 3D modeling and all that good stuff to, to build it. It works just like a stock OEM part. Has all of the, you know, it's not like, oh, you're gonna lose power steering or AC with this. No, it's pretty much drop in. Um, it's used, uh, uses bonding from a Ross Tough Bond process because there is, you know, some sort of rubber in here. It's made it to the metal. Um, <clears throat> You know, laser etched timing marks, which we can see here, which is really cool, really neat. Um, you know, 10.9 grade hardware. So that's all there. That's the way it's supposed to be. And yeah, it's 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 pretty beefy. I mean, it's it's not a light product. Um, and and of course, this complies with uh, SFI spec um, 18.1, which you know it's needed for certain uh, competition series. So basically this is a real unit um, and we're going to be installing this on the 40 FTE and this baby right here so I already marked <laughs> the uh, the pulleys here so power steering has been a real pain in the butt with this car once I remove the pulley and put it back on it's like always trying to you know finagle with it I had to replace the uh, the bolt down here um, with a new one it was already bent up and destroyed so um, yeah, I'm gonna loosen that up, loosen up the alternator, get those out of the way, and then we're gonna go about getting the old pulley off. Um, I had to use a homemade bolt, also discontinued by Toyota is the crank pulley bolt. So, could not get that uh, 4EFE, uh, you know, the equivalent for the Paseos or sell here in the US, just doesn't fit. Um, show you what that looks like here. So I paired that up with a washer, 10.9 hardware, just like it should be. Um, then that's torqued down to about 115 pound-feet of torque. I have that written down somewhere in one of the guides that I got from one of the great Starlet forums. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of video magic here and get all these belts off.
special tools on. See if we can crack this baby. It's already moving in place. Let's get it going. out i'm really happy with this washer so you guys can see once it gets torqued down it really bent up but we'll uh we're gonna replace that washer with something a little bit better bolt looks like it's in great condition when i had to put this bolt in it really really needed to be cleaned so if you guys ever are replacing something that's important on your car large bolts included um, that aren't on a crank pulley make sure you, you get a, a really good thread cleaner brand new and you clean all the threads out of here um, so it goes in properly um, but I'm gonna take this thing off and show you guys the damage all right so this is what we're dealing with here um, if you notice that keyway is a little beat up and if I were to go <clears throat> and shake it back and forth the pulley you hear that little notch now what happened was um, when I was trying to diagnose all those issues I had in my car that turned out just to be the fuel pump, uh, it turned out that I had left a breaker bar with the socket on the crank pulley. So I turned the car on, bam, that's what happened. Um, that's probably what loosened up the bolt and I drove to the track day and back all day on track. This baby didn't fall off. So it's not a catastrophic failure. So what I'm gonna do is next is get this one back on. Well, get this one on first time, of course. And I see uh, anti seize on the crank. A little bit of blue thread locker on the bolt with a new washer that I have in here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. torque wrench 155 newton meters that's what the uh, book has it set for for calibration so uh, let's get the socket on there break it down All right, so here we have it. The Ross Performance Harmonic Damper is finally on. Car is running. I have the AC on, so I can just basically finish adjusting the belts after checking it out. Um, I wanted to just immediately do the video yesterday, but I had to take a little break. Uh, it's actually been pretty cloudy, which means it's also been pretty rainy. So I got rained on in the middle of um, installing pulley and then getting all the belts on. Um, so I got all that stuff kind of done last night. Took it for a little drive, got it, had a little bit of squeaking, so kind of normal. Instructions say run it up to about 4,000 RPM and then readjust your tensioning. Um, if you look at the manual for a 4E FTE or maybe any other Toyota from that era, they have like this little tool that I'm just not gonna waste my time buying. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty straightforward install. I'll uh, turn off the car so you guys can hear me. So, you know, you basically want to remove your belts, loosen up all the tension there. Uh, then you want to get down with the car lifted and start taking off your pulley. So you'll need a pulley puller to remove it and then a pulley installer to install it. 
So, uh, you know, that's, that's how you get to this uh, finishing moment here, which is having this nice new metal jacket harmonic damper on. Um, and so far, so good. I can't complain. Uh, before, I had lots of issues with um, just, like, squeaking and honestly just worrying, right? Because if that were to fall off uh, or get damaged or look anything like this, um, it could potentially lead to a catastrophic failure. So, again, this is the reason why see that uh, keyway hole uh, or that notch is pretty damaged. Some splitting happening there. Um, could have happened when the incident happened where I, I loosened the bolt or it just could have been over time. But like I said, there was no OEM option. So I went with Ross Performance and um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's rated for 500 horsepower. They use this in a lot of high performance applications. Um, but yeah, we'll just see, uh, see how it goes as time goes on. I uh, just plan on really getting some other things done here, including changing those mounts. Car is a little bit noisy with the mounts, getting some extra vibrations I don't want when, you know, AC's on or, you know, the movement from the motor when I try to launch kind of hard, like at the track day. So I'm gonna finish up here. I'm gonna put my <laughs> repaired under cover uh, over here, my under tray. And yeah, that's it. So thanks again for watching. Uh, and we'll see what happens in the next video. Peace.